Okay, so last night I posted a visual guide on how to trim your pubes and your testicles with a razor and everyone has so much to say about my size and my body and everyone's like, oh my gosh, he's so micro, he's so tiny, he's so small, he's so petite. How is he going to please anyone with that? Girl, first of all, I'm basically celibate. Like, I am not banging anyone right now. Like, people think I'm like the biggest W word and that I'm like super hypersexual. I literally, my body count is two, two men, two Jewish men, Ashkenazi. Actually, one of them's not Jewish. But my point is like, I'm not sleeping with anyone. I'm not dating anyone. Like, I'm very devoted to my fictional husband, Reiner Braun. So like, I'm not seeing anyone, like contrary to popular belief. Also, by the way, fun fact, for people that don't know, I'm literally gay and I'm a bottom. So like, like, women, I'm definitely not pleasing. No one's going to be complaining, babe. And also, men, I'm not topping anyone anytime soon unless I'm, like, in, like, an established relationship in which I'm the bottom and, like, we're close and comfortable and he, like, wants to experiment. That's the only time I'll ever top in my life. So I'm not using it in that way, okay? And also, by the way, it's all about chemistry and personality anyway. Like, I feel bad for, like, all the straight guys out there with, like, small, like, ding-dongs like mine because I'm kind of just, like, I feel so bad that people make fun of them all the time, but it's kind of just, like, do you need a super giant schlong to make someone feel good? I mean, maybe, like, a little bit, like, maybe not, like, a micro one, but, like, you can do a lot with, like, a not gigantic thing. Like, I feel like it, personality and chemistry and just like vibes matter more than size you know what I mean and like I'm not even speaking for myself because like I'm literally this is not relevant to me but just like for anyone that like has like a small size and they're like super insecure and like super self-conscious like I hope you can see me and be like oh you know what like I'm fine because Kevin's fine and you know that's just the truth like it's mostly about technique and you know sometimes about like the actual size but that's besides the point it's not a big deal Straight men, gay men with not gigantic schlongs can still make someone feel good, okay? And also, especially for gay bottoms, like, it usually hurts more if someone's schlong is freaking humongous. So do I even want, like, someone with a giant thing? No. So, you know, if you have a small thingy, like, don't be ashamed. Like, no shame in the Asian game, but also, even if you're not Asian, like, no shame in general. Now, I also want to address, like, my body, because I do have scars all over my body and I do see some like nice comments in that video about like my scars thank you so much for leaving those nice comments I did touch on this a little bit in like a previous video and in that video itself but yeah for people that don't know when I was sad in high school I'm 25 years old now but like when I was in high school I had a habit of self-harming and slicing my body up like a titan like I went full-on scout regiment on my sides and my thighs and that's why I have very deep big scars on my body and that is is definitely not amazing. I definitely don't condone that at all. Like, when I was young, I was very depressed with my life and I was very resentful of like myself and my parents and my home and just life in general and so I decided to take out like all of my pain and frustrations on my own body slay fun and fresh and I definitely don't recommend it at all and I don't condone it because it's first of all self-harming is never good because it could lead to worse things and it by itself is already really bad but like for me personally like there was this one time that like I accidentally like went a little bit deep like I cut myself like a little bit extra and the next morning I literally woke up to a pool of blood like on my bed like the blood was soaking my sheets my own blood was soaking my pants and my undies my boxer briefs and like my shirt and I literally thought I was like swimming in like a pool I thought I was like lightheaded and I was like oh my gosh like am I like dead am I alive like am I gonna see my dead dad in heaven like rest in peace am I gonna see Jesus Cristo and I ended up realizing one of my cuts from the night before did not heal and so I had to google like how do I get rid of blood all over my bed and like all over my clothes and I had to go you know go to the bathtub and like soak all of it out with rinse it all out with water and then do laundry and it looked like a whole homicide scene in my room thank god no one was home this was like summer like of 20 i think it was like when i was like turning 18 or like i think i was 17 actually not turning 18 i was like turning 17 and i had lost my car in like a car accident because my back tire popped and i spun around and like hit a pregnant lady in a car and then like i like went to the right center divider i mean i went to the right wall and then the lady crashed in the center divider she's fine the baby is fine but like i had to close down 
around the whole 10 freeway and then I was depressed because I live far away from my friends and so like I didn't have a car for a whole month and I was like oh my gosh like I'm so sad and I was like emo so I was like oh like let me be more emo and cut myself anyway my point is like I have scars all over my body and I'm I used to be ashamed of these scars when I was younger like I would never tell anyone that I had these scars I would always wear clothes and I would be ashamed to wear swimming trunks and like speedos and anything that was like revealing of these scars especially the big one on my thigh I don't know if you've seen that but I I was very insecure about that scar specifically I have since learned to love myself in full I mean I'm still working on like fully loving myself but like I love myself like I love my body and like yeah I'm like low-key fat right now like my stomach I'm not fat fat but like my stomach is like kind of expanding like I haven't been very like fit and like athletic because I've been sick I've been sick for like a whole week and I've been like off of my gym routine because I've been so busy with social media and stuff so like I feel like low-key like fat vibes but like you know what like I'm you know learning to love myself in all capacities like at all times like i don't need to be like six pack like skinny vibes to look attractive you know what i mean and basically like it took me a long time to be fully confident in my scars but after like years and years and years of just like reflecting and like learning about myself and like enjoying my own company and like loving myself like I honestly don't feel ashamed of my scars on my thighs or on my sides anymore even when I'm like seeing somebody like when I saw the Jewish man Ashkenazi that like bred me twice a week like for four years like like three years ago like I was not ashamed of my scars when I was like stripping basically to him like twice a week so that's good and i just want people to know like if you've cut yourself before stop cutting yourself don't cut yourself if you're sad like do something else like watch aot watch read harry potter like go outside read a book take a jog go to the gym like there are so many things you can do that are better habits than cutting yourself and if you did cut yourself before and you have scars there are so many people that like feel ashamed of their scars i see them in the comments in my dms don't be ashamed of your scars you are so beautiful just the way you are and like yeah they're like permanent and they're like low-key like tattoos but it's like yeah they're basically tattoos like people get tattoos all the time that they regret not saying you have to regret cutting yourself but it's kind of just like it is a part of you now and like don't be ashamed to like not like not like promote your scars but it's kind of just like accepting your scars and accepting that that was the trauma that you had to deal with and it's like stuff that you went through in the past and you can't change that so you might as well just be okay with your vessel with what you have on your body they can serve as memories like not the best memories but still memories of like what you had to endure and the pain and frustrations that you like dealt with when you were younger and so having them in the form of scars can low-key be like a symbolic beautiful thing if you choose to see your scars that way and that's how i choose to see my scars so i recommend you do that because it feels better than being ashamed of your scars those are the two things that i wanted to address today i wanted all of my asian guys or non-asian guys with small shongs to not feel ashamed of their size even if you're straight and even if you think you can't please a woman you can you know it's all about technique it's all about chemistry it's all about flirting and talking don't feel ashamed of your size that is what god gave you so you can complain all you want you can feel ashamed but that's not going to change so don't listen to the people that like make fun of you like that's low-key body shaming that's not okay and for anyone that you know has like scars on their body like i encourage you to not feel ashamed of those as well you know i love you seek help there's a light at the end of the tunnel but until you see that light or like once you do see that light you'll realize that like your scars are just a part of you now and your scars are just a symbol of low-key hope and resilience because you went through all of that and you are still here you did not leave this earth on your own doing you're still here so that's a celebration you know what i'm saying thank you guys so much for watching this video i love you if you liked this video please give it a good thumbs up and subscribe to my channel don't forget to check out the links below for my full visual bottoming course and also for my discreet premium douche kits shipped right to your doorstep and for literally all of my other links thank you guys so much i love you and i'll talk to you soon